All right, it was a busy day. Third video gonna be uploaded today, but I just got the information, so it's worth sharing to the world. This is the new updates on the KP5, and you heard it here from 3D Print Everything first. So we're about to order a whole lot of these, and uh, I'm gonna show you why. So um, to start off with, let me show you real quick as a recap, if you haven't watched the other videos, what I told them to upgrade. So this is the uh, current hot end setup that they have going, a nice BMG pancake motor. Obviously this motor got a little hot. I, I did this, I went overkill on this, so I don't think the factory was silly enough to do that. But uh, one of the problems I immediately noticed was if we're gonna run Octoprint, that is in the way of uh, you know your build area. So you gotta change that. And uh, this little design wasn't that great. It obviously broke um, there, and I've had to glue it. Um, and then, what else? There was one other thing I asked them to change on it. Oh, there was a little bit of interface with the screen and the motherboard on a couple of them that wasn't just right. But um, yeah, so it otherwise is a great printer, and I love the rail system and all that. Here is what they got back to me with. So let me show you the pictures. And this is what you can now order from us and what you will receive if you get some of the first batches. So they change, obviously, to the, uh, if you want to run Octoplant and put your files in, it's now on the outside of the build area. That's very smart. Thank you for doing that change. Um, a nice ribbon cable right here. That will never wear out. I really like that. Um, ignore any names you see on the side there. They're just friends. They're not necessarily friends, people I have gamed with or are in a server or something. But, okay, so they changed the hot end now, too. So instead of doing the BMG, it is now a, uh, what do you call it, a Titan Extruder. So so it's a nice Titan Extruder, got a nice um, fan on it, nice blower fan that goes to both sides. Um, they did change the Z-Stop just a little bit, made it a little bit more sturdy. And what else? There was one other thing. Oh, they swapped to glass. So uh, I'm all down for this. And the reason they did this is the spring steel PEI sticks to PETG really good. Um, so good that you generally end up tearing up your PEI sheet if you're using PETG. So glass will work good on both. If you prefer a PEI sheet, you can just put a glue, a glued one on top. And that is something that I can change. I can specifically request um, PEI sheets if I needed it or, or wanted it. Um, but for that system, it's not bad. So they. Oh, and they also, I don't know if I showed it, they changed right here uh, to upgraded springs. This was another thing I had them do. I made sure that they reinforced this uh, more. On, on one of the KP5S, this was too thin and uh, warped a little bit when, when it was literally delivered. So uh, they beefed up their bed spring, or, or their bed plate. Um, this, they gave it the nice yellow stiff springs, and they also put a heated had or a, a, an insulator underneath the uh, bed there which is really nice um, the screens also upgraded in size from the kp5 or from the kp3 that also looks like they went to a different power supply here that looks pretty nice um, I, I like just how small it is and how it's a part of the printer so this thing looks great um, you can't beat it if the, this is their 310 310 by 350 and uh, if I remember right this should be right at around three hundred dollars so we'll get exact pricing here shortly. I, I'm literally just awaiting the quote to order a whole bunch of these. Um, and it might even be possible that I can make some changes and rebrand these as 3D Print Everything. Um, that would be something, like this is a printer that I like and believe in so much, bang for the buck, that uh, yeah, you know, I'd stick my own name on it and request maybe a couple little changes. Like I would definitely want two Z-stops. Uh, they said that wasn't available right now, so it's probably just their current board configuration isn't set up for a dual Z-stop. But, um, you know, that might be something that we could change. Um, I can't really think of too much else. Maybe a filament runout sensor up top here might be nice, but the wiring getting it up there might be a little tricky. I don't know. Um, otherwise, I'm really digging this. Let me know what you think. Um, what do you think on the changes? Comment if you like it, if you would buy something different. Um, you know, if, if you haven't experienced this, I can understand why you might buy something different. But this has a dual steel bar right here on the inside, and then it's a triple steel wheel on the inside, and it, it, it works really, really well. And it's not going to wear out like any of your rubber wheel printers. But all right, guys, I'm going to end this here right at the five minute mark. Thank you a lot, and we'll uh, see you soon.